What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Seth, from Savvy Sentient, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Any interaction with the channel does bring a higher vibration to the YouTube algorithm and puts uh, gives more traction to the channel. So that is thoroughly appreciated. Um, all the support that you give is thoroughly appreciated. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can find that information in the description box below along with all my other social media and my cash app if you'd like to donate to the channel. Um, this reading is going to be Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 2021 love reading. So, <laughs> Geminis, fellow Geminis, during the meditation, um, didn't really see much. I don't know what's going on with my clairvoyance. Uh, but what I was feeling initially was a pop in my ear, like when you're traveling on an airplane or at a high elevation. So I'm feeling that travel is going to be involved here. Um, maybe taking flight somewhere. You may be hanging out in the mountains. Um, or you may be traveling astrally. I did see some stars um, during the meditation. And um, what was it? I smell like sage. So I feel like some spirituality or ascension may be involved with the situation. This may be someone who is uh, spiritual or you may both have that in common. Um, but let's just see how these messages translate for the reading. So let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Gemini Collective? Someone rising in Venus in love. What is this reading going to be about? <laughs> Gemini. That's us, baby. <laughs> that is us, okay? This is about making decisions. This is about a divinely guided connection. This is about being in alignment with your person. Okay. That's the lover's card is Gemini energy. This is how we starting this reading out y'all. I'm here for it. I'm here to receive all of this. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a romance angel oracle as well. Messages for the Gemini Collective, please. Oh. Whoa. Past life relationship. Come on. This is somebody that is from a past life, okay? Um, I don't think this is an ex. With this being the lover's card and the lover's card being divinely guided uh, connections and then the past life relationship on top of that, I think this is someone that you've known before, but not in this lifetime, okay? All right, and now we're going to get into the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Try to pull two of those. If three come out, then we'll take them. All right, messages for Gemini, please. Uh, one of them flipped. We got mask. Two more messages. Heartbroken. Okay. Ooh. One more card, please. many. Come on, cards, talk to me. I felt the flip. All right. So this situation involves the mask card, which is not showing their true feelings. Uh, hiding, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Uh, we also have the heartbroken card, which is deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. And then we also have the heart with the key. This is welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. So, so far it feels like one or both of you all 
are not really showing each other how you all feel when you interact with each other. Um, this could be someone you're actually in a relationship with, uh, someone that you just like, someone you're dating, or someone that you just have interest in, maybe just friends. Um, but you're not showing each other how you actually feel about each other. You might be keeping it friendly, but truly you like your head over heels for this person. Um, but you might just be acting like, you know, oh, no, that's just my friend. We just friends. Um, you might be the type of brother, sister, when it's actually like, bae, I'm so in love with you so much, you don't even know, <laughs> type energy. Um, but this is because of heartbreak, okay? This is because of um, feeling lost. This is because of past breakups. This is probably unresolved pain. Um, so you, you try not to invest too much into anyone because of the past hurts, all right? But we do have the heart with the key card. Uh, welcoming, love, meeting the one. Opening your heart and getting together in perfect like. So one or both of y'all, y'all acting like y'all friends and it's because y'all are hurt, but really y'all both know you're perfect for each other, all right? So let's see what your energy is, Gemini. What is your energy towards this connection? I see the manifestation card coming up, <laughs> trying to show itself. I see this, the high priestess. All right, what is the Gemini's energy towards this person? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some more, please. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Okay. Wow, Gemini. All right, and what is this person's energy towards Gemini? Mm -hmm. Okay. One more card, please. Mm. Wow. Okay. And what is the mutual energy between the two of them? Mutual energy. Wow. Okay, so Gemini, off rip, we have the Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. You are holding back so much from this person. You're holding back, but how you actually feel is that you want to rush towards them and have some type of victory with them, but you're not showing them this. But that's what you want. This whole situation is at a stalemate. Uh, what you want with them is victory. Oh, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> but you holding back for some reason. Um, their energy towards you. Because I feel like they hanging on too with the hangman energy. Um, the hangman is a card. Well, the hanged one in this deck. Um, is in the most uncomfortable position. But looks so comfortable. Um, just chilling, relaxing, surrendering to it. Um, but as you see around her head, there's uh, light. She's enlightened. Um, so I feel like this person is aware of their feelings for you, but they're also not pushing it. They're just hanging around, maybe taking a wait and see approach. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles here, they're staying single. <laughs> I feel like they might be waiting on you, Gemini. They're just waiting for you to come around, but you are stuck as well. Um, we also have the Magician card and the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to give to you. This person wants to manifest something with you. This person wants, um, an equal relationship, equal give and take with you. Um, but, and then in the mutual energy, you have the Page of Wands, which is exploration. 
um, making something out of nothing, a spark of inspiration. But then we also have the Eight of Cups, walking away from love. So I feel like, I don't know, like why y'all both want this, but y'all are both straying away from love. And I feel like it's really a more, y'all are treating the connection like a friendship, but y'all clearly have feelings for each other. Y'all clearly want something with each other. This person's over here manifesting an equal relationship with you, staying single because of you, hanging around, just waiting for you. And you're not making a single move externally, but internally you are like screaming for this person. And so now y'all are just not even acknowledging the love here. Y'all are walking away from it, even though y'all totally want to explore it. Like, I'm stressed. <laughs> All right, let's do some monology cards. I don't know, should I clarify anything? I don't know if any, this can be made sense of. Like, why are you holding back, Gemini, if you if you want this so bad? Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Why is Gemini holding back when they want victory? Uh, <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning, Stability. Maybe you're just not feeling... Like, you can offer them some type of stability, or I don't know why you would be holding back. This is stability. Maybe money is an issue. You're Maybe you're too focused on your coin. You're too focused on your coin to make any movements towards this person, even though you want to. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough. And you want to build your coin before you take action towards them. Meanwhile, they're over here with the coins trying to spin it on you. <laughs> they're over here with the self-made abundance. And they're over here trying to give it to you. This is this nine of pentacles and this six of pentacles. That's independent wealth and charity and, and spending it on you and giving it to you. This person, <laughs> this person really rocks with you. But I digress. All right. All right. All right, Moonology. What messages do we have for the Gemini Collective? Messages for Gemini. <laughs> Expect a powerful change. I don't know how long y'all think that y'all gonna be able to just ignore each other and act like y'all just friends or whatever the situation is because this is a divinely guided connection with the lovers uh, guiding this reading, with the past life relationship guiding this reading. Like, y'all can't ignore this for too much longer before the universe comes in and and make y'all do what y'all supposed to do. Like, what the, what the hell? Um, now that y'all... <laughs> You're very close to achieving your goal, okay? So the universe is going to come in and, and make an, a, a very powerful change happen for y'all. And it's coming rather very soon, sooner rather than later. So this hidden victory that you want with them, this hidden recognition that you want from them, the way you want to rush towards them, like all of that's going to come. Not now, but right now. One more. <laughs> The end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? The universe is going to come in and make this make it happen. Um, the full moon in Capricorn, this is an earth sign. It also represents pinnacles. So if money is the issue for you, as far as why you won't move towards this person, Gemini, that's about to end. That, that, that ace of pinnacles is going to be a good thing. And it may give you the finances that you need to actually move towards towards your person if that's the issue there but yeah there's a change coming and it's looking like a mwah, great change all right so um that was a chef kiss in case y'all was wondering <laughs> okay cutting the deck with that star trying to show itself hopeful what's the advice for the gemini collective what is the advice for the gemini collective collective come on with the with the deck splits 
Come on, what is the advice for the Gemini Collective, please? You want more card, please? Thank you. <laughs> it's time to bring balance to this conflict, this this clear mental conflict on your side. Um, it's on theirs too, but it's definitely on your side with this stalemate energy, this four of pentacles, and then the wanting to rush towards them. You're going to have to balance this out. You're going to have to stop it, okay? Um, there is going to call for a little bit of patience, um, but this situation is about to balance out. Um, but you need to stop being so conflicted and just be honest with yourself. Um, maybe some of this heartbreak is on your behalf and you need to clear that up. That might be why you're scared to take action too, but you need to balance out whatever is unbalanced at this time. Um, because your ships are about to come in, Gemini. All right. <laughs> this is also a card to travel. You might be traveling towards this person, with this person. I mean, but it's on the way. You just got to balance out what's conflicting you at this time. All right. Well, Gemini, that is the reading. That is it. And that is all. <laughs> um. If it resonated, please let me know in the comments, okay? I would love to hear y'all's uh, experiences, um, see how, how the readings are resonating for you all. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with a friend if they are also in into tarot and spiritual things because I do other spiritual things on this channel as well. We'll have some new videos coming out shortly. But, um... Yeah, until the very next time I read for you, Jim. Good luck. Please let me know how this resonates. And I'm wishing you all love and light. Everything right. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.